Good day everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, our topic is all about 45 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree right triangle theorem. So our objectives are to state and explain 45, 45, 90 degree right triangle theorem. Solve problems applying the 45, 45, 90 right angle theorem. So square is a quadrilateral that has four equal sides and four right angles. When a square is cut into halves diagonally, two right triangles are formed. These right triangles are called isosceles right triangles or the 45, 45, 90 degree right triangles because they have two equal sides and a right angle. Forty-five, forty-five, ninety-degree right triangle theorem is an isosceles right triangle. The hypotenuse is square root of two times as long as each of the legs. So let's have an representation. So let's represent the legs as x because they are equal to each other. Kaya x lang dalawa dyan. So, this side is hypotenuse. Paano naman natin nasabi na this side is hypotenuse? Okay? Hypotenuse is always the opposite of 90 degree in our triangle. Okay? Lagi siyang katapat ni 90 degree. So, to get the legs, we have the formula hypotenuse over the square root of 2. To get the hypotenuse, we have the x multiplied by the square root of 2. Let's have an example. Okay. We have the given of a leg 8 cm. So, ang kailangan nating hanapin is yung isa pang leg at yung ating hypotenuse which is yung y. Okay? So, unahin mo natin hanapin yung x. So, dahil uh, equal yung dalawang leg, kung itong leg na to ay 8 cm, itong leg na ito naman ay 8 cm then because they are equal to each other. So, next, how to get the hypotenuse, which is yung y. So, gamitin lang natin yung formula na x times square root of 2. So, our x, o our shorter leg is 8 cm multiplied by square root of 2. So, we have 8 times square root of 2. So, our answer here is 8 square root of 2 cm. So, that is our hypotenuse. Next example, we have so, our given is the hypotenuse and ang kailangan nating hanapin is yung legs. Okay? We have hypotenuse 15 cm. So, to find the leg, we have the formula hypotenuse over square root of 2. And then, substitute natin yung given. We have 15 over square root of 2. Since, isa sa mga rules sa math, bawal ang mayroong square root sa denominator ng ating fraction. So, we need to multiply uh, square root of 2 over square root of 2. Okay. We need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by square root of 2. To, to get rid of the square root in the denominator. So, we have uh, 15 times square root of 2 is 15 square root of 2. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is square root of 4. Since square root of 4, pwede na siyang ma-extract. So, square root of 4 is 2. So, our answer here is 15 square root of 2 over 2. That is our leg. Okay? So, another example. 
So we have a given of a leg. 7 square root of 2 cm. Ang nawawala is yung isa pang leg. And yung ating hypotenuse. Okay? So to find the leg, it is equal to the other leg. So madali lang mahanap yung isa pang leg. Kasi equal lang naman siya dun sa kabilang leg. Which is, x is equal to 7 square root of 2 cm also. Because they are equal. Next, we need to find the hypotenuse. So the formula to find the hypotenuse is shorter leg, uh, leg times square root of 2. So substitute natin, we have 7 square root of 2 times square root of 2. So we have uh, 7 square root of 4. Next, so since meron tayong uh, pwedeng ma-extract or pwede pa natin ma-simplify si 7 square root of 4. So square root of 4 is equal to 2. So we have 7 times 2. 7 times 2 is 14. So our hypotenuse is 14 centimeter. Okay, next example, we have a given of uh, hypotenuse. Ang given natin ay hypotenuse. We have square root of 3 over 2 cm. So, we need to find the legs. The measure of the legs. So, to, to find the measure of legs, we have the formula hypotenuse over square root of 2. Okay? So, let's substitute the hypotenuse. Meron tayong square root of 3 over 2 over square root of 2. Dahil bawal ang may square sa denominator. Okay. Uh, because this is a complex fraction, okay, we need to sim simplify muna natin yung pagka-complex ng fraction na to. We need to get the reciprocal of square root of 2. So we have uh, we need to multiply the reciprocal of square root of 2. We have uh, 1 over square root of 2. Kailangan natin yun ipag-multiply sa ating square root of 3 over 2. Okay? Square root of 3 times 1 is equal to square root of 3. 2 times square root of 2 is 2 square root of 2. So we have square root of 3 over 2 square root of 2. Since bawal ang may square root sa denominator, we need to the we need to multiply numerator and denominator by square root of two. Okay. Square root of three times square root of two, we have square root of six. Square root, a two square root of two times square root of two, we have two times square root of four. So, dahil pwede natin isimplify si square root of 4, meron tayong square root of 4 is equal to 2. We have square root of 6 over 2 times 2. Okay, next, simplify na natin si 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So, our final answer here is square root of 6 over 4 centimeter. This is our legs. Do you have any question? So, this is our activity. I hope you're learning.